uh, at Rothamsted might be getting well over 100 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year because the woodland is so good at scavenging nitrogen out of the atmosphere and we've got nitrous ox uh, nitric acid, nitrogen oxides, ammonia, all being deposited in our area because it's uh, urban, semi-urban, so a lot of pollution. And we've got very large emissions of nitrous oxide. In fact, uh, they're bigger than the emissions on the broad bulk experiment on the plot that gets 300 kilograms of nitrogen fertilizer per hectare per year. So only a little bit of woodland, so it's not really representative of the whole of the country, but if you've got a little bit of woodland like that in a polluted area, the nitrous oxide emissions can be enormous. And so it's worth bearing that in mind when we think about the benefits of woodland. Arable to grassland, this is the kind of benefit you can get. This is old arable land, probably been growing crops for hundreds of years, uh, converted to grassland, very rapid buildup of carbon, but again, re uh, reaching this equilibrium value. Not quite yet. It's about 60 years old now, so uh, uh, little way to go before it gets to equilibrium, but a, a really big benefit in soil carbon there. Then we've got old grassland that's been grassland or was grassland for many years, uh, left in grassland in about 1949. Uh, left in grassland a small increase to this equilibrium value, that that one will eventually get to. Uh, but if you plough it up, a very rapid loss of carbon. So uh, any pressure to plough up old grassland or indeed to remove forest land to produce more food is going to cause us real problems in terms of carbon loss and climate change. Uh, I suspect most of us know that already, but it's nice to see some data from really long-term experiments which show you how big that can be and how long it will go on for. And that's been one of the issues that those who use palm oil have had to wrestle with, where large areas of tropical forest have been uh, removed to plant palm oil. Okay, the palm oil is a renewable energy resource. It's needed in various products. But the carbon loss from the forest and the soil where they've removed the tropical forest is huge. 